we're going to do one video now just on rational inequalities. So these are basically inequalities that look like this, where they have kind of an algebraic fraction in it. Okay, they're called rational inequalities. Not really sure why, but anyway. Um, so the question we have is, they're all going to be similar enough to this method. So we'll just go through this one example question, and that should do. So solve 4x minus 3 divided by 2x minus 5 greater than 4. Yeah? So normally, if we saw a fraction like this in an equation, we just multiply both sides by 2x minus 5. Yeah? Uh, and that would get rid of the fraction on the bottom. So we can't do that now. So we can't. I'll just say can't do it. And the reason we can't do it is we don't know if this is positive or negative. We don't know if it's plus or minus, because x can be a couple of different values. That's what we're trying to find out x is. So we don't know if it's plus or minus. Uh, and if it was minus, we'd have to change the direction of this um, this thing here, this crocodile. Yeah. So since we don't know if it's plus or minus, we can't multiply both sides by 2x minus 5. So there is a way around it. The way around it is, so we know that, um, I'll say, any number squared, any number squared is positive, okay? So um, any number squared, no matter what number it is, if it's negative, if it's positive, if it's a decimal point, it's always gonna be a positive number, so it's always gonna be a plus number after you square it, okay? So we can use this to our advantage, because when we get a rational inequality like this, again, that's what, that's what they're called, we're gonna multiply, so multiply, both sides, both sides by the bottom. And not just the bottom, because we said we can't do that already, but the bottom squared, okay? Because we know, even if we don't know if this is plus or minus, we know that 2x minus 5 squared is definitely plus, okay? Because like, this rule here, any number squared is definitely positive. So we can multiply both sides by the bottom squared. And the bottom in this case is 2x minus 5. So by the bottom, I mean the bottom bit of the fraction. Okay, so I'll go through that. And um, we'll go right blue. So 4x minus 3 over 2x minus 5. So 4x minus 3 over 2x minus 5 greater than 4. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides by the bottom squared again, like I keep saying. So it's going to be 2x minus 5 squared. So our answer is going to be, and we're going to start with anyway, 4x minus 3 over 2x minus 5 multiplied by, so that dot there means uh, multiplied by, 2x minus 5 squared. And this is going to be greater than 4 multiplied by 2x minus 5 squared. Yeah, just like a normal equation, we just multiply the, uh, the same thing on both sides. In this case, it's just 2x minus 5. So then I'll go to purple. This 2x minus 5 is going to cancel with the squared bit here. Uh, and then it's just about working it out. So we're going to have 4x minus 3. And this is going to be 2x minus 5. That's greater than 4 multiplied by. So we're going to do this. It's going to be 4x squared minus 20x plus 25. Work this out. So 4 multiplied by 2. That's going to give us... 8x squared minus 20x, that's going to be 4x by minus 5, minus 6x plus 15, again, is greater than 16x squared minus 80x uh, plus 100. So now it's just a little bit of algebra when you got everything on the one side. So I'll go to orange for that, uh, and I need to scroll down a little bit. So if the 16 over, we're going to get minus 8x squared, then we're going to have minus 26x, move the minus 80, we're going to get plus 80x, then we're going to have plus, that should be a 15, sorry, that's not very clear, Ooh. so then we're going to have plus 15, move the 100 over, it's going to be minus 100, all is greater than 0, okay, so again, minus 8x squared, Minus 26 plus 80 is going to give us plus 54x. Then plus 15 minus 100 is going to give us minus 85. Is all greater than 0. Okay, and now this bit here is just like the old questions we were doing. So we're going to follow the same method, the same four steps to try and solve this. Yeah? 
So I'll go green. So step one is we're going to let minus 8x squared plus 54x minus 85 equal to zero. So this one's going to be too awkward to try and factorize. We're going to use the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula is x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. Yeah, so you're going to sub the different numbers in. So I'll go, go back to yellow, make it nice and colorful. So minus b, so this is b, this is a, and this is c. So minus b is going to be minus 54 plus or minus square root of, so this is going to be 54 squared minus 4 multiplied by a, which is going to be minus 8. And then uh, by c, which is minus 85. So keep that square root closed. And then that's all divided by 2 multiplied by minus 8. So all divided by 2a. Okay. Uh, a little bit of working out later. So I'm not going to go through every single little step here. Just try and keep the video as short as possible. Uh, and then we're going to find that x is either equal to 2.5. Or x is equal to 4.5. So that's mostly just calculator work. I just don't want to go through it all because it just be a bit boring. Um, so those are our two answers. So that's our step two is to solve it. So one is let that equal to zero. Two, I'll just say here is solve. Then step three, if we remember, is to sketch. So I should just draw a little box around those as well. Those are our two answers. And um, step three is sketch okay 2.5 and 4.5 so if we sketch that it's going to be and it's also going to be an n here so just be careful there it's going to be an n in this case because it's a minus x squared so it's going to be something quite like that so that's going to be 2.5 and that's going to be 4.5 uh, and now the fourth step again is to look at og question okay I'm just going to say OGQ, it stands for OG question, okay, original question. Uh, and it's asking us to find where minus 8x squared plus 54x minus 85 is greater than 0, okay? So where is it greater than 0 or else where is it above the x-axis? Remember that? So greater than 0 for quadratic inequalities means above the x-axis. In this question here, above the x-axis is going to be in between here. So this shaded region. So our final answer, if we want to write it on one line, is going to be 2.5 is greater than x is greater than 4.5. Draw a big box around that. And hey presto, that's our answer. Sorry, our answer is actually going to be, sorry, it's 2.25. And this is again 2.25. But sorry, the, the method is still correct, okay? So 2.25 2 less than x is less than 4.5, okay? So go back up to the question. That's how you solve this rational inequality there. So it is a little bit longer, uh, just depending how long it takes you to get that algebra done. It can get a little bit messy because of all the squares, but that's the only hard step you need to know. So just multiply both sides by the bottom squared. So again, I'll just put that in a big box. That's basically the key to this video. And then after that, it's just the questions we've been doing for the last while. So this method here. Yeah. So again, hopefully that made sense. That's uh, one of our last videos on inequalities. Uh, we're almost done algebra as well. We can move on to another topic. So hopefully you enjoyed that. We're going to look at the modulus next.